Hey guys, um, I've got a couple of videos to make today, so you're going to see me in my stupid jammies for a few videos, um, so sorry about that ahead of time, but I'm really, really cold and Logan is asleep, and so I can't go in there and wake him up while I look for something else to wear, not that I should have to, because I'm cold and I don't care. Anyway, so as I said, I've got three videos coming up. A um, couple of suggestions from you guys is what I'm doing and one of my own, my own suggestion, <laughs> my own thoughts, whatever. I don't know. It's late. I'm tired. Sorry. Um, first of all, I wanted to say this video here is going to specifically be about what it says. Me losing, losing subscribers, me talking shit to my fans and subscribers. Something happened earlier today, a couple hours ago, and I logged in and there was this comment from one of my subscribers on the doggy video saying, um, are you insane? And I was like, what the fuck? And so I told her off for it because to me, that's an insult. As someone who gets insulted, all the time, not as much anymore, but pretty much all the time, I'm always on the lookout for something that looks like an insult. If you're kidding, learn to put a smiley face or just kidding or ha 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 or something. You can't just, you know, put something out there like that and then try to say later, oh, it was, it was just a joke. That's not a fucking joke. If you ask somebody, are you insane? That's not a fucking joke. That's an insult. That's how I'm going to take it. And that is how I did take it. And then she was like, oh, you're just, I was halfway kidding because you were just acting a little crazy on the dog video. It's like, okay, so I'm sorry if uh, about a year and a half now, uh, maybe a year, something like that, definitely way too long. If over all this time I've developed a reputation as a dog thief for stealing a dog I did not steal, and even though I took all the proper steps to rehome the dog back to its original owner, they wouldn't take it. But yet all they've done is talk shit about me and show up at my house at three o'clock in the morning making threats. And I'm stuck with this animal that has already attacked a member of my family and I didn't want to risk my other two. And it was just a stressful and fucking bullshit circumstance situation that the cops were involved in. You know, I'm sorry if I wasn't just like, Oh, it's okay. What the fuck do you expect me to do? If you don't like it, don't fucking watch. And for her, because I, I told her off, I did. I was like, you know, f go fuck yourself because nobody else is going to fucking do it and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I talked massive shit to her. And then she's like, grow up, act your age. Oh, and, uh, you know, say hi to your 12 year old husband or some shit like that. And I'm like, oh no, you know, we have a fucking gangster hair. You know, how hard was that for you to think of, uh, calling a 21 year old 12 was that a really, really hard insult. You know, somebody doesn't work well under pressure. I mean, seriously, he's 21. He's a fucking adult. Give it up. You know, she tried to instantly go back to the people that, you know, bully me about him and she tried to be like them. And it's like, why? Because she got called out people. I don't know if they think I don't read the comments or something because they're like, she, this or she, that like me, not she, me. I'm a person. This is my channel. These are my videos and I read every comment on there. And if your comment shows up, it's because I've approved it because I've read it and I've approved it. If not, then I don't want to bother with you uh, or getting into a fight with you at the moment or whatever. So I don't approve it or I go to you and tell you off or I block you or whatever. You know, I'm not the kind of YouTuber that's just going to sit around and pretend I don't get people sh talking shit to me. I'm not going to pretend that my numbers mean so much to me that you can just fucking talk shit and I'm not going to say anything back. I really don't care to have people like that on my channel. I keep saying it. I said it to her. She's like, well, you've just lost a subscriber. And I'm like, if you're going to be like that, I really don't care if I've lost you because I honestly don't. I know half the people that I block will still watch me anyway. They just can't comment. I don't care if you want to watch, watch. I don't care, but I don't have to interact with you. And if you're going to come to me and you're going to insult me and pretend you're joking or just flat out insult me, yeah, uh, I don't give a shit if I lose you as a subscriber. If you talk shit to me or anybody else, be prepared that they're going to talk shit back to you. That's just the way the world works. If you can't hack it, don't do it in the first place. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't have very many numbers. This is why I keep my subscribers hidden. I've only got like 2,000 subscribers. I 
might have been somebody at some point, but I'm not, and I probably never will again because there's too many people out there that prefer the the fake, the ultra skinny or the ultra happy or the ultra professional, whatever it is that I'm not. People don't like what I am. Very few people like what I am, and that's fine. If they don't like it, they don't like it. I'm not here to cater to anybody. I'm here to do what I like, what I love, and if people love watching or like watching, then they can watch or they cannot watch. I'm not going to change who I am just to draw people in, and if people don't like it and they don't want to subscribe, that's fine, and if they don't like being called out when they try to insult me and they unsubscribe, I don't care. Go. I don't care. It's not going to make a difference to me. One subscriber, two subscribers, 10 subscribers, 15, 20, it doesn't matter. I've started from scratch before. I could start from scratch again. I've, we all start with zero subscribers. You know, we all start at the bottom and I'm still at the bottom and I don't care. It's not worth, you know, who I am to sell out. And I've said this time and time again, and I'll say it again and I'll say it again. It is not worth giving up who I am just to get those numbers. Yeah, I I would like to make a lot of money on YouTube. Maybe not even a lot. I would like to make enough to supplement whatever, just so it makes living a little bit easier. $100 here, $100 there, whatever. But if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'm, I'm not here expecting to make a living or become rich on YouTube. I'm just here as a sounding board to meet cool people. Just entertainment nothing more nothing less and yeah so easy rule is if you don't want me to go to you and attack you don't come to me and attack me don't say something that's going to be taken as an insult if you're not insulting me then make it clear i usually wait because i understand some people are foreign and they don't know english translation is not perfect i had somebody today say they liked my hair piece and i was like is this somebody trying to say I look like I'm wearing a wig because my hair looks like shit? This is before I cut it off. And I was like, what hair piece? You mean my hair? And they were like, no, I meant like your headband. And I'd forgotten I was even wearing a headband in that video. And I was like, oh yeah, oops, sorry, you know, um, because I get on guard. First instinct is to get on guard and be like, what the fuck? But I wait and I see if they say something else or see if, can that be taken as a loss in translation miscommunication or is this flat out an insult and usually if I think about it and I can't see any way that that cannot be taken as an insult then I shoot back and I'm like you know what fuck you I, I've got no time for this and um, if I've genuinely been wrong then I do apologize but that's very 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 rare usually the people shoot back at me or they're like well if you don't like it don't be on YouTube because people on YouTube um, they should be used to people talking shit about them and you should just handle it and not say anything like everybody else and like, excuse you, if you're looking for somebody who's like everybody else, you're on the wrong fucking channel and you should know that by now. And if you don't, well, you're going to fucking learn real quick. I don't just ignore it or act like I don't get hate or <laughs> I get hate and it doesn't bother me. It does bother me, but it doesn't bother me. It's not going to make me kill myself or go cry. It makes me angry that people think that they can sit there and just type shit to a person that they don't even know who's never done anything to them just for what shits and giggles that's what bothers me just that the ego of you all not not all of you but the assholes sitting behind a computer screen thinking I can say whatever I want to any person out there regardless of who they are or what they've done or if I know them and I can make them cry or feel like shit about themselves or take apart their family or the way they look or their lifestyle or their personal choices I can do it because I've got this thing in front of me called a keyboard and this is all I need to reach out and hurt someone. Would you do that in real life? If you saw like a little lady trying to cross the road and she was holding up traffic and you were an impatient fuck, would you go up to her and be like, hey, you old bitch, kill over and fucking die. If you can't be walking, if you can't walk by yourself, why the fuck are you outside? No, you'd sit there and you wouldn't say a fucking thing. And if you would, then you're a really, really, really nasty human being. Um... But for the most part, people will not say shit in person. They only use the keyboard to do it. And it's a chicken shit bullshit way of just bullying other people and pushing other people around. And I I won't stand for it. And I'm not going to pretend that it's okay and make a joke out of it like a lot of other people do, you know, um, because it's not a joke and it's not okay. And, you know, 
I don't know. I'm not going to get into this whole thing again. This is supposed to be a quick, like two minute video, but it never is. Anyway, in closing, I wanted to say, look what Dorian bought me. We went out to the mall the other day, yesterday, I think. And, um, he bought me this little Charizard and it is so soft and it's got this stupid little tail. And he's got these little feet. <laughs> and, um, this little suction-y. So I thought that was quite adorable. Um, I saw it, well, he saw it and he brought it to me and I was like, oh my God. And then he just like grabbed it and ran and he went to the register and he bought it for me and he gave it to me and I was like, oh, that's so cute. So I just wanted to share that. And, um, yeah, so all settled in in this new house now and it's awesome and we love it. And this is our second week here, I believe, second or third, probably second, um, the old landlord lords have turned on us, which is, it just really sucks because they were really, really nice. And then last minute they got a hair up their ass and trying to keep my bond from me saying that the house is disgusting and I've ruined it and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, it was messy, but nothing was actually damaged. Um, there was like a couple of holes in the bedroom wall for my big mirror and I knew that would have to be repainted. And then in the living room, I ripped a piece of tape off the wall and it tore like a chunk of paint. So we tried to repaint the wall and that didn't look so great. So I knew that would have to be paid for, but got a carpet cleaner in, um, like vacuum the whole house, clean the walls, clean the stove, clean the counters, cleaned everything, replaced the hinges in the cupboard that they didn't replace. Um, mowed the lawns, pulled the weeds, did everything. Three trips to the dump. That was about $200 all for them to be like, you didn't clean. Yeah, I fucking did. I went there every fucking day and I cleaned. Well, you didn't clean the stove. You know, that's not the same stove, right? No, the stove you gave me caught fire. Like the week I moved in, this is a different stove. Oh, well, I'll contact you about the bond, but we're keeping, you know, I don't know, half at least something. And I'm just like, oh my fucking God. So it's been a nightmare. They still haven't refunded any of the bond. And, uh, so I'm trying to sort that out and, um, it just sucks when they turn cause they were so nice. I don't know what the hell got up their ass. Um, they told me to move out. I wasn't going to leave. Uh, I was perfectly happy. Well, not really, but I was content staying there and then they decided they wanted to sell. And then as soon as we started to leave, they just, yeah, got a hair up their ass and started being dicks about it. So I don't know what the fuck. Anyway, these landlords are nice for the moment, so let's, fingers crossed that they don't change, but hopefully they've got no reason to, and, um, let me get on with it and make those other videos, and I'll see you guys around. Sorry for the yabbering again. Um, too long, didn't read. If you don't want me to talk shit to you, don't talk shit to me, because I don't care if I lose you, because if you're an asshole, I don't want you anyway. <laughs> Take care, everybody else, and I will see you around, and, um, stuff. <laughs>